So let's talk about what to do if I've given you a percent and I'm asking you for a score. So just to remind ourselves here, I'm going to give um, percent and I'm asking for a score. So just to kind of remind what our task is here. Okay. And so let me put this over here, get it out of our way. Okay. I'm going to start simple and then we'll see if we can get more complicated. I'm going to leave, um, and my handwriting is atrocious on these things and I apologize. I'm going to make the example easy. Let's say that the mu is 100 and my standard deviation is 10. So if I keep my numbers simple, then I know that this is 100. If I go up one standard deviation, that's 110. I go up one standard deviation, that's 120. Go down, that's 90. And we go down one more, and that's 80. So even though we're going kind of backwards, where I'm going to give you a percent and ask for a score, these numbers are still relevant. So we're going to want to put in what we already know, which is the 34, 14, 2, and then 34, 14, Two. So let's start with something easy. So I'm going to put that in blue. Let's see. Let's say my question is, what score is associated with the lower 2%? So it's the low 2%. So I'm going to shade that in. Can you tell me which score is associated with the lower 2%? So hopefully you are able to identify that the answer is 80, right? Because that's right at that special mark. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do, oh, just for fun, let's do the upper 2%. So what score is associated with the upper 2%? I'm gonna shade that in, upper 2%. So hopefully you see that that's a score of 120. I told you we're gonna start off simple so we feel comfortable with it. All right, now that you've got that, what score is associated with the upper, that's what that says, <laughs> upper 16%. So what score is associated with the upper 16%? So I wanna shade that in here. So hopefully you can see that that's a score of 110. All right, let's do one more. What score is associated with, ooh, what two scores are associated with the middle, the middle 68%? All right, so I want 68%, but it's gotta be in the middle. I'm gonna, remember we have 34 and 34, those together are 68. So the middle 68% is associated of scores between 90 and 110. So there's two scores that are needed there. All right, we did that one. What score is associated with the, oh, let's do this one. Upper, I'm trying to get rid of this, sorry. Upper 84%. It's a hard one. Upper 84. So when it says upper, that means you start up here and you move down the percentage that's necessary. So now remember up to the 100 mark, that's 50. So that's not enough. I need to keep going. So I want to go up until I can get to 84%. And that's going to be magically on this line because 50 plus 34 is 84. So the score associated with the upper 84% is 90. Can I get rid of all my handwriting? Okay, now let's say we want the, well, now that we did the upper 84, can you identify the lower 84? So if I say the low 84, remember you start at the low end and you move up to 84. So that would be 110. So one more, let's say I want 
the middle um, 96%. So I'm going to say the middle 96%. Let's just have, you can look at that and see if you can identify that. So remember, we want to go over, there's kind of a couple different ways you can think about it. This whole distribution is worth 100. So you can subtract two and subtract two, and that's gonna give you this middle, or you could add each of these pieces together. And so what we've done here is we've identified the middle 96%. It goes from 80 to 120. So what we did was we, I gave you a percent, something like the upper 84 or the lower 16, and then you told me what scores are associated with that. So this is kind of our first pass at um, identifying the major landmarks for the different percentages in the distribution. Now moving forward, we can make it more complicated where I could ask you a question like, um, what is associated, what's the score associated with the top 10%? So the top 10% isn't gonna land nicely on one of my markers because here's two, and this is the marker for 16. So top 10% is gonna be right around in here. And so notice that I can't use one of my nice markers. So I'm gonna have to follow the steps um, that I've given you to kind of break it down and use the um, calculus majors table to tell me what scores associated with the top 10%. So we'll do that in another video.